I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Spate. It's an atmospheric, surreal platforming game, apparently. With a rich steampunk world and pooping robots, apparently. I. That's me there. Oh. Having that moment of regret that hits a man right before the ground hits him. Fine, right you talk then. Death, when your bygones are really gone Jerk. and you've made a thousand wishes for a different ending. Don't worry about me, though. This is just a dream. A vision. It's been haunting me now for the past six months. As dark as this vision is, it wouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone that knows me, myself included. Perhaps you would agree. Here's my story. Hey, dude. My name is Timothy Bluth. Here I am rowing towards the X Zone. A beaten man, a drunk, some say. With a dead daughter and an ex-wife who would rather me dead than alive. I'm a private eye. A sleuth. I was hired to track down Scott Denton. A wealthy businessman who was last seen heading this way. Why anyone would want to head to the X-Zone is beyond me. I mean, I could see it back in the day. Back when these islands were still normal. Back when the sun still shone here. Back before things went dark. Are you done expositing? Is that... What's the verb for exposition? Exposing? That doesn't... That doesn't sound... I don't know. That doesn't seem quite right. Mm -hmm. Sure, a lot of mystical newspapers in this creepy green place. This millionaire businessman has anything to do with these floating papers in here. Very suspicious. Oh yeah, this game, um, a review copy was provided by the, uh, nice fellows over at IndieGameStand.com. How do I? Okay. Squares jump. Whee! Zoom. It likes that squooshy, like, watery effect, doesn't it? You know, you know what I mean. It was all squoosh. You saw it. Robot! What's up, buddy? Um, I mean, like, lamps are acceptable. Uh, sh How could you not like lamps? This guy! This guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, this guy's pretty crazy with his not liking lamps. I mean, they provide light, and they ask nothing for it, aside from electricity and stuff. Maybe kerosene, since this is all steampunk, but, uh... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Little Christmas story reference there. Well, goodbye, strange robot. Press a jump a second time to do a double jump. Alrighty, then. At least this game has sort of a reason for a double jump. There's some sort of double jump pack on us. Interesting visual style we got going on here. As I probably mentioned in the last video, sort of intending to showcase some more games with unique visual styles. That was my main... Um, the thing I love most about this E3, really, was... Um, at least at Nintendo and to a lesser extent Sony's um, conferences, we saw some more, you know, we saw art styles. And art styles generally aren't something that console games, at least, you know, AAA games, it's not something you usually see. You know, you just see gritty, realistic, man, dude, bro edition. It's like, that's great and all, and I mean, I'll definitely, I love the look of Uncharted 4, but I mean, I don't need that many games like that. Down to crouch, crouch walk. Okay then. But, I guess you need all kinds, because while I, you know, like my art in styles this case, and... As a way of hiding from the pain caused by my daughter's death. It's been years now. I still see her everywhere. 
like right there. These rain-soaked islands. It's face. I see you there, Mr. Face, with your top hat. This businessman. I couldn't find a lick of dirt on the fella. So what the hell was he doing out here? No one enters the X zone. Sure, this place used to be beautiful. Pearl Islands, they called it. The kind of place you take your family for a long weekend. The kind of place you go to let your troubles breeze away hmm. instead of chasing them down. See, there's that the squishy effect. Filibuster. But this place hasn't seen the sun for over a decade. Not since the poisonous storm rolled in and swallowed it whole. Parker, what are you doing? Come here. What you got there? Hold on. Sorry, I periodically have to keep my cat from eating my entire house. Why? Controls. Controller, go. Um, crap. Okay. I just had the worst luck today. And I still seem to be having some vertical tearing. Not too much. But I forced V-Sync. Whatever. Alcoholism! It's a game mechanic now. Mouse, go away. No one likes you. We drink more than once. Apparently you can't. Not sure if that has positive effects, or... I I'm sure there must be some reason for it, aside from showing off the uh, visual effects there. I'm not sure where there's stuff back there. That's interesting. Hmm. These crates have the businessman's company logo on them. Yep. Eh, it's not much to go on, but it does link the businessman to the X zone. And it certainly gives me enough to keep moving on. I like how the background is used in, you know, included in the narrative. Like the the dude's head we saw, the balloons, the floating trees, possibly not related to the narrative. I suppose everything's related to the narrative. But. Ha! Another blackout. It's been almost a week since my last. Not bad. Just another lovely side effect of the drink. Is, is that? I can't tell if that was triggered or because I was drinking. I wouldn't think it would happen that early, because I haven't really done... I took like three drinks. Alright, alright, alright. Whee! Swing, no. Kinda. Whee! Okay. Dead daughter. Hi, dead daughter. I just saw my daughter in that fog. Yeah, you kind of did. Not fitting. It's actually storming right now. You probably can't hear it on the mic. Let's calm down a bit. Hi, Parker. Don't attack me. Cat is about to get on the desk. Parker, I, you're kind of in the way. You can sit, but just sit down. Ow. Death. Good! Instant response. Parker, you're in the way. Let's play with a cat in front of the screen. This should be like a speedrun category or something. How fast can you beat a game with a cat obscuring at least 40% of the screen? Yeah, there. Isn't that better? Yeah. He's laying down now. He's good. Oh, he actually crashed my last Let's Play. That's actually why I played a game with the controller, because he was hanging on the on the computer desk, so... I figured it'd be easier to just Let's Play a game I can play with the controller instead of trying to get him off the table so I can use play a game with the keyboard and mouse. Well, unfortunately, most of the games... Absinthe is burning through me now. I'm quickly reminded of why I drink absinthe. It's the only thing I have left that makes me feel alive. A tiny spark of what things once were. What they used to be. Is that really such a bad thing to want? 
I wonder if there are endings based to the alcoholism. That seems like the sort of thing it would do. Oh. Hello. Indeed. Yeah, he does he does seem kinda calm for that. I can, punk. Dummy. Um, okay, well, no two ways about it. That was weird. That was weird. Um, now I forget what I was saying. Oh, most of the games I do have in my two less playlist actually need keyboard and mouse, so... I think this was my, one of my only ones that... Of my more urgent list, anyway, that uh, support the gamepad. More games need to have gamepad support, really. Um, you're a robot. It, it's nice to meet you too, but you know. Um, no. I'm the I'm the not lamp guy. I I do not enjoy lamps. Goodbye. Yeah, pooping robot. The Kickstarter lied. I want my money back. I I did not back the game. Actually, I hadn't heard of it until I saw it on Indie Game Stand. It's on Steam, by the way. I um, didn't mention that. My daughter. She was a ball of energy. My ex-wife had a good way of putting it. Spirited. She was a spirited little girl. Strike for no reason. Excellent. Um, ow. Yeah, the game's on Indie Game Sand, but you can get a Steam key even if you buy on, on IGS. It's a feature I'd like well, to see. I couldn't find a whole lot on this businessman. It's not like he was a square. He didn't seem the type to run the straight and narrow. Perhaps he got caught up into something. Something bad. Whoop. Something ugly. Okay. Freaking narration and interrupting my extremely important Let's Play commentary. How dare you. With your actual stories and your seriousness. I should include, like, a Parker cam for these. You're cute. Yes. Current Parker status is... Uh-oh. Half rolled over with his belly out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Did I, did I take a drink in midair? I accidentally pressed the button. I didn't expect it to do anything. Oh, um, a funny slash unfortunate side effect of Metacritic. I was googling this game to um, get a little, little more background about it, um, and I noticed the Metacritic was three stars out of five. That seems pretty poor. And then when I go to the page, it's actually 61, which is a bit better than three stars. Like, I would say that's 3.5, wouldn't it be? Um... But, in addition to that... How does the top kill me? Come on now. Um, <laughs> honestly. Um, in addition to that, there were only four reviews. Four or three of which were 80 or above, and one which was 30. Um, and it was four reviews, so Metacritic gives it a Metacritic score. So it's not like it was unscored. I just thought that was a funny... Oh. You know, example of Metacritic score not really giving you a particularly good picture of the actual, you know, landscape of opinions, but that's sort of just what happens when you have very few people looking at your game on Metacritic. The loading screens are a little awkward. It's so one thing I'm really looking forward to with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One generation, no loading screens. That is basically my favorite feature. Well, one loading screen at the very start, and then, you know, maybe some cutscene loading screens, but no actual interrupt gameplay. Awkwardly kind of thing. Uh, excuse me. Oh! What 
whatever, I won't question it. Magnets! Hey, floating stones. That's something you don't see every day. Let's drink Probably to that. Just the drink giving me more reason. Oh, whoa. Crazy stuff does happen if you drink. Okay. I'm gonna drink more even if that might give me like a bad alcoholic ending or something. Because it's pretty. You should drink because it makes things pretty. I'm Sir Tap Tap. The first day that I, I ever encourage went drinking. My wife. Boy, was she a looker. It was a blind date. I met her at a little cafe on the water. It was a windy day. I made my way around the corner and the first thing I saw was her hair. Dancing with the wind. For me, it was love at first sight. For her, well, for her it was just sight. <laughs> I seen some weird visual artifacts. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse cursor, but these... These sort of vertical shafts of light, like here around the tree pole right above me. Like here, 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 here. Hopefully you can see that mouse cursor. Um, I'm also seeing some sort of what looks like weird compression artifacts, almost. I don't know, it may just be an effect of the As I made my way up the bridge, I could see that something wasn't right. It was the businessman's steamship. It was parked, running idle. I could see a slumped form crumpled over a crate. You could tell the life had run out of him. Yep, pretty dead. Uh, hmm. Not to be racist against robots, but... Uh, did you shoot this guy? Sure. The robot's a nice enough fella and all, but there's something he's not telling me. Exactly. It's very clear that this man did not kill himself. Hell, there ain't even a murder weapon nearby. This robot is hiding something. Freaking robots. Always hiding things. Not like your ni friendly neighborhood spike walls. We're very trustworthy. Just don't stub your toe on us. That's an incredibly suspicious response, bro. Uh, you're not. You're you're being pretty suspicious. Yeah. Am I a robot? My face is weird. I mean, I got the one hand that seems human, but I guess I'm drinking, so that's. Let's see if my alcoholism gives me any clues here. Nope. Alcoholism is the worst superpower, honestly. I know what you're thinking. I already found the missing businessman. What the hell am I still doing in the X zone? Exactly. It ain't exactly the happiest place on earth. The skinny of it is, is that I've got nothing to lose. And there are too many unanswered questions. Is there a man in the tower? Is he the one that killed the businessman? Why is he here? Could he be connected to all those disappearances ten years ago? Does this robot really love lamps? <laughs> I wanted all these answers. <laughs> And my flask was still half full, not half empty. I like these weird egg spire things. Up, oh. the Twilight Zone is taking my daughter. Damn you, Twilight Zone! <laughs> well, apparently drinking exposes some. Well, not sure I'd call that backstory, but something's going on there. Hmm. This requires further investigation. And alcohol is my oh goodness. Come on. What? No, I jumped! I jumped. Whatever. Whee! Okay, now do I have to do the swing thing? I didn't mean to drink. I meant to swing. Whatever. You can drink. My poor liver. I'm not even going to have a liver by the end of this. It's just going to be zero liver. Hey! Was that a- oh, that's just my gas cloud. Okay, I thought that was like something. That wasn't a gas cloud, I guess. But I was incorrect! I like how my light is actually making it darker. Like the background look darker. Because of my light- no! Dude! Why is there a giant fish? Get- revive! I want to know what's up with the fish. 
This doesn't seem right. This... I'm not sure this seems right, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how many giant fish swimming around in midair you guys have in your neighborhoods, but... I would say there's less than five in my neighborhood on a given weekend. So, I'm pretty sure this is slightly unusual. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But, you know. Who am I to say? Who am I to say? Well, I'm so tap tap. Sorry, I'd forgotten briefly. Even here, in this hell on earth, this wretched rain, I wish my daughter was with me. She had a way of making everything brighter. She died some years back. I used to bring her here with my wife. Those were better days. Brighter days. It seems fitting now that the only thing I bring with me this time is a drink. That's all I have left. And it fits this vile place well. Oh, hello. My daughter was a beauty. Just like a mother. Hair as bright as the sun and eyes that sparkled like I knew you were a seesaw. I knew it. You're gonna be the kind of seesaw where I have to. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Crisis averted. I see you there with your balloons. Press action button to control cannon. Up, down, and left cannon. Jump to shoot. Boop. Boop. Oh. Still need a bit of power. What? Oh. <laughs> the cannonballs were still loaded in the, uh, in the barrel. Alright. Okay. This reminds me of Little Big Planet. Very, very grim Little Big Planet. Something about the way everything's put together. Just like visually, I mean, not thematically or anything else. Hello there, Buzzsaw. Pardon me. Get your butt up there. Oh! Why was... Well, that was incredibly awkward. Okay. Oh, goodness. See, that's a bit annoying. Because I can't really... It's a bit hard to tell where the buzzsaw is going to be. Why am I drunk? I didn't drink. Stop getting drunk without me pressing buttons. I'm getting you drunk enough without doing that. Blackouts are something I've gotten used to. It's the headaches that still surprise me with their spite. Uh oh. Oh, so this is supposed to be blackouts, though they definitely seem like loading screens. Oh no, it's a rocket level from Donkey Kong Country Returns. Though extremely slow paced. Some people absolutely love those, but they're probably my least favorite levels. I love the game, but... And I mean, those aren't terrible, but uh, they're not my favorite. Not sure they keep getting the, r the controls just slightly wrong in the Donkey Kong Country Returns series. Um, waggle to roll in Donkey Kong Country Returns 1? Uh, what were they thinking? That's awful. Um, and in Donkey Kong... Re Country Returns uh, Tropical Freeze, it is very, very easy to accidentally roll instead of ground pound. 
those should be two different buttons. If you're moving when you try to ground pound, you will roll. Um, and like half the time you're trying to ground pound, doing a roll will kill you by rolling you off a thing. Parker does not appreciate this discussion, by the way. He's looking very cross at me. It's okay, Parker, but... I'm gonna take a drink. Excellent. Let's hope to see more trippy stuff. How about not shaking the mic too much? Parker wants his rubsies. The fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting the physics to happen there, but they did. They sure did. Can I go faster somehow? Not really. This is interesting, but a bit slow paced. I think I might. At the end of the section, I think I'll call it a video, and if you want to dig deeper in the mysteries of alcoholism and dead daughters, go ahead and be my guest. There'll be a link to the Steam page, the Indie Game Stand. Um, indie Game Stand, you know, the developer gets more money if you buy from them, and you still get a Steam key um, from them. And I think if itch.io actually has them, I don't think they have Spade. But generally speaking, um, itch.io is a great way to give a bit more of the money you spend to developers. Though if it's on Steam and it's on sale, of course, you can give it there. I don't particularly approve of the only buy on Steam sort of mentality, but uh, I do appreciate that. Like, I, I'm okay with buying on stores that aren't Steam, but I really do want to redeem the game on Steam. And I'm glad that Steam does allow that with, you know, giving out codes on Humble Bundle or, um, oh, whatever. Aw, oh, come on! But yeah, I do appreciate that. Because I like Steam's all-in-one-ness, but I do appreciate having the ability to, you know... Well, mainly what I appreciate is being able to give the developer more money, because Steam takes a 30% cut. I'm not sure what Indie Game Stand takes, honestly. Humble was like more than 10% but less than 30. Itch.io is currently 0% but it's supposed to be 10% eventually. Me talking about nothing in the game is probably a good indication that I should stop playing. It's very interesting. I love the look. It's pretty chill for a platformer. Um, you know, I think we've shown what we need to see as far as the Let's Play is concerned though. I guess I should drink more. Maybe that will make it interesting. That's a terrible thing to say. Whatever. Ah! Are you kidding? What? Wait. What's going on there? I wanna- No, I wanna see that. I wanna go into the horrible pit of redness. Is this a- It's a death! Why is it death? Does drinking make it harder? I don't know what's happening here. If it looks grimmer, it looks much more interesting. It's better this way. Hmm. Why? My controller decided to. What's happening? My controller decided to stop playing. That's odd. Oh well, this has been Spate. 